all right so we're gonna begin we have our two boneless chicken breasts that are already freshly washed and clean and we'll just go ahead and pour put that into the pan Swanson's chicken broth all I'm gonna do is put enough in here to cover the chicken and I will boil this for about 20 minutes for the chicken to get cooked. All right, so my chicken I diced up. This is about probably a cup and a half. I've already diced it up. Go ahead with the cream of chicken soup. Now add the milk. One cup of frozen vegetables. Then you go ahead and stir it all up. Now, you don't have to add any seasoning, but I love seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some dashes of some different things. This is like my secret weapon, rotisserie chicken seasoning. I use this on so much different stuff. And we still have some of the chicken broth that we cooked the chicken in. I just like to use just a little bit. Okay, now we have our deep dish pie crust. You don't have to use frozen, but I just prefer frozen. You can always make your pie crust, but again, this is supposed to be a simple, quick meal that you can do during the work week. Hearty and very tasty. And it's kids approved because my son loves it. So you go ahead and pour the filling in. This is the tricky part. Now on to the top portion. It's not going to be pretty. I can tell you that right now. I like crust. You could cut this area of crust off and just go ahead and put this on. But I liked crust. So I'm going to have like double crusts. So all you do is get the crust off of this pan. And you just want to pinch it try to seal it up it's gonna break up because it's flimsy it's not gonna be beautiful even though I would love for it to be beautiful but it's not so now I'm just gonna pinch and pinch until I know that it is fully closed closed up finished product I have one egg white and to prevent the crust from darkening too fast just brush egg white on top of the crust now all you need to do before you put it in the oven is put a few slits on the top small slits I just do about four uh, maybe I'll do five or six I'm using my convection oven. I use my convection a lot, oven a lot because it's just me and my son. So why use the oven to heat up the entire house? I don't. I use my convection oven. So with a convection oven, I never do the whole preheat thing because it heats up very fast. And we're going to bake this at 350. And you can put the timer on there. Convection ovens have a timer. And I'm going to do until... For I'll do I like to check it at about 35 minutes so I'll go ahead and place my pot pie and I will come back and check on it in about 35 minutes okay you can see now that my pot pie is finished I just place it onto a, a bacon rack and I will go ahead and prepare the servings and what I like to do is I prepare the serving and then I will let it cool 
as the steam rises and comes out and all of that jazz. You know, you just basically just break it up however you want to. It doesn't have to be neat or perfect. Okay, there you have it. A hearty chicken pot pie. Very simple, very tasted, and kid approved. Hey, you guys. You guys know that I am so into hair and the makeup and fashion. One thing you may not know about me is that I love food. And um, I'm really big on fixing hearty, tasty meals that don't take a long time nor a lot of effort. So if you guys are interested in me making more cooking videos, just thumbs me up. I hope you guys are because I really want to share a lot of my recipes. So let me know what you think. I know the chicken pot pie is not for everybody. Everybody doesn't love it. But um, I just wanted to go ahead and film a meal that I was cooking for dinner this evening. And I hope you guys enjoyed everything. And the recipe will be listed down in the info bar. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if you would like to see more cooking videos. All right, you guys, I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.